We've talked so far about physical and chemical changes, mainly chemical changes because our bulk of chemistry is using chemical reactions. Um, but remember that a chemical process involves the breaking and or formation of chemical bonds. Um, and physical is just changes in the intermolecular attractions. So unit three was all about intermolecular attractions. We had ionic, or we had um, hydrogen bonding, we had dipole-dipole, ion dipole, Lenin dispersion forces, um, induced dipole, um, all kinds of things. So intermolecular is when you have multiple molecules interacting with each other, but chemical processes happen when you actually change them into new things, okay? Well, um, oh, sorry, an example of this a physical process would be a phase change, like evaporation, um, where when you're boiling water on the stove, it's still water when it turns to steam, it's just arranged in a different way. So when can it be both? Sometimes physical processes involve breaking of chemical bonds. Um, for example, arguments can be made for the dissolution of a salt in water to be either physical or chemical. If we look at it, what happens when you dissolve the salt in water is you're breaking apart the ionic bond that holds the sodium to the chloride ion, um, but, and then as a result, there's a formation of an ion-dipole interaction. So we've seen this picture before, but we have the greens are the chlorides, the plus are the sodiums, and the polar molecule of water will pull in correct formations around the ions so that they cannot go back together. There's, that's a solvation process, right? So um, this is a physical change because technically we're changing the state of matter and we're changing the interactions between the sodiums and the chlorines, chloride ions, but we are also chemically changing it because we're breaking the ionic bond. So people can get into a debate about which is it with this situation. Um, for more vocabulary terms associated with this, you will need to, and I think it's a part of your homework assignment for this unit, um, or this section, you need to read in your textbook page 488 to 490 about different vocabularies with changes of state. Um, these vocabulary words will be on the quiz, so make sure that you open up your textbook and read through that. Um, but the molecular level of perspective can help us distinguish between if it's chemical or physical. Um, by considering whether intermolecular or intramolecular forces are disrupted. Remember, intramolecular forces um, are the like ionic bond or the covalent bond, the ones that are holding the actual atoms together um, within the same molecule. Uh, and inter is when you have interactions between two different molecules. Okay, so intramolecular forces are a lot stronger this is a review of unit three, um, whereas intra, intra are stronger, inter are not as strong as them, but they can change the way that things are represented. So um, now do I think that dissolving salt in water is a physical or chemical change? That's up to our debate. In chemistry one, we just said that it was a physical change, but if you go, go about the argument that you're breaking ionic bonds, then that might change your mind. Am I gonna say that it's purely one versus the other? No, because we have gray areas. And so um, we just have to be very careful about not oversimplifying this issue because um, it could be a little bit of both sometimes. So just be careful there. All right, so make sure you read that section in your textbook so that you have vocabulary words ready for the quiz.